Hello and welcome to how to use assessments in Schoology. First thing you want to do is decide on which course you're going to add the assessment. Then go to add materials and add assessment. After that, you will get this screen and you can put a title in for your assessment. Good practice, think about the course name, what kind of assessment it is, and the topic. You can add a due date. This button is for dis disable submissions. You want to go ahead and enable it. The default is disabled. Uh, these other buttons allow you to keep the test open until a certain date or a window. So I'm just going to click enable. Password is up to you. Uh, the category for me, it's which is test. And then down here are some interesting buttons. This one is individually assigned. If you wanted to create an assessment for a student who might have certain modifications, um, you can create an assessment just for them and uh, just give that to them and no one else would know. So we're going to go ahead and hit the create button. It's going to bring me to the settings page. So you know, notice here, this is instructions, and this is new to uh, different from the tests and quizzes. In this area, what you want to include is any instruction that the student might need before they get the test. Uh, then there are a series of different settings. So you can choose whether that has a time limit or not, and you can set how many minutes. I'm gonna click no on that. You can click whether the questions are randomly ordered. I love that feature, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then show possible points for each attempt. It's up to you, I'm gonna hit no there. In the assessment toolbar, students can flag questions. This is really great for students to come back to if they have a question. And so is this button, eliminate answer choices. If it's a multiple choice test, the student can decide whether or not they want to they can eliminate that answer and then narrow their choices. Uh, if you are want your students to use a calculator, there's different choices here, basic or scientific. I'm gonna hit no. And then same with a ruler, six inch or a 15 centimeter. Uh, and as well as the protractor, highlighting text, yes or no, and using a notepad. Finally, we have the student setting, and here you can allow students to view results after an attempt is submitted, and I like that. And also the number of attempts, and this is interesting, it goes up to 20 times. It used to be unlimited, but now it is um, 20. And then you hit save, and you're successful. Thank you for learning how to set up an assessment in Schoology.